Hello and welcome to Last Double Press. I'm Violeta and this is Chapter 3 of Let's Play Heroine's Quest. Last time I froze to death and ended up wasting some of my money so on, you know, daggers that I don't need. So this time I'm just gonna go pick up the spear and assume it's good enough. And yeah, so spear, give it to me. Go. And while I still have about half of my freezy health thing left. I need food! I am starving. At least I know where there's some plants, which is good. I hope it's not randomly generated or something. Nah, it wouldn't be, right? Right? They wouldn't do that to me. Would they? Oh, I hope not. Oh, hey, look, it's the wizard. Hi. You and your glowy stick. I like the foo sound. I don't know why, I just, I find it amusing. Sorry. I think I went that way last time. I don't know, we're going this way this time, I guess. Ooh, that breezy bar goes down a lot quicker than I'd like. Oh, <gasps> it's just, it's just right there. Cool. Give it to me. Yay! Enough fruits to make meal. Good. No more hungry. Yes, I know about the skills. I know. Yay! Oh, I only got plus two this time, and no willpower. Oh, fine. Hurt me like that. Why don't you go this way? I'm gonna keep a closer eye on the uh, freezy meter at the top. Because, uh, I really don't want to turn into a heroin icicle like I did last time. What is this? Is that a- A frozen bird leans against the flowers. It is covered in ice with a startled expression on its face. Looks like these flowers aren't as friendly as they look. You find yourself on a clearing where the forest gives way to a rough rock outcrop- Oops. Outcropping. Trees surround you in all directions and a patch of azure flowers catches your eye. I'm not touching that. I know better than that. You cannot fool me. I'm not touching those. Not if what happened to the poor bird is any... Oh, is that the mystical flower? Patch of bright blue flowers grows on the rocky ledge. They glow eerily amidst the snow. Save. I'm saving. I have to know. I mean, I can't, I can't not. I'm here. I... Oh, good. I can't reach them. <laughs> I don't have to. Yeah, but I'm freezing. So now I'm going back to the town and I'm going to go sleep in the, uh, on the bear skin. In the lodge. <gasps> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> dear. Do something! What are you doing? Dude, dude! You just got attacked! Oh. Uh. Actions. Uh. Uh. I don't know. What do I do? Wild boar looks back at you with a growl. So. Bite it! How, how do I. What? It knocked me over. So... I don't think I can do that. So I don't think that place is safe. And... Yeah, I know. It's definitely hurting me. The sooner we get back to town, the sooner I can be in a warm place where I'm not going to freeze to death. And the better everything will be. And I don't know how to attack things. Like, the boar came right at me. It ran me over. And nothing happened but that it ran me over. How do I... I don't know. I'm confused. Oh, maybe I should... Open the door. Yeah, go inside. Shoo. Where it's warm and cozy. 
Oh look, I'm all by myself. Uh, actions. Sleep for the night. What? But I ate! I totally ate freaking food! Oh, no, no I didn't. Carry two of these. Use one. Dude, I have a food. Nom nom nom. <laughs> it literally says nom nom nom. That is so cute. She isn't. That tasted good. You no longer feel like you're starving. Still feeling a bit weak from your ordeal in the snow, you feel it would be good to explore the city some more and then have a good night of sleep in the Adventurer's Guild House. Okay. But I, uh. I thought I was freezing. Um, am I no longer freezing? Can I rest for an hour? Will that help? Maybe? Sit down and rest for an hour or so, taking a short break from adventuring. Yay! Woo! So... Yeah, um, I guess I can, like... Go. Oh, hey, look, I'm fully restored. That's nice. What the? Who are you? H Hi. Hello. Sir? Sir? Wait, come back. I want to talk to you. Ah! No! The only answer you're going to get is the rustle of its branches against the wind. Walked away. Come back, sir. I wish to speaketh to you. What the? Where'd he go? He vanished like a ghost. He's a ghost. <sighs> hi, hi. Can I? Can I talk to you? Talk. You're the one the Jarl sent for. I would think that stopping the Fimble Winter is a man's job. Hey! Mm. Who are you? Tell me who you are. I am dismayed to learn that my reputation does not precede me. No, the it doesn't. My name is Snorri. I'm a loyal clansman to Ilfin, captain of the guard and connoisseur extraordinaire of fine drinks. Uh-huh. Since you seem to be the adventuring type, perhaps I even have a task for you. A quest. Ooh! And what is that? Ah, so nice of you to ask. You see, a gemstone that belonged to my father has gone missing. It is an heirloom of sorts, and I am greatly attached to it. I would highly appreciate it if you could recover it for me. Uh, I shall see what I can sure. do. Why not? What can you tell me about the city? The shining star of Yandere. Just look around you and admire its build and its history. Okay. Oh, it is getting short of food right now. You could surely use one of Thor Giant Slayer's magical goats. It can be eaten each evening, grow back during the night. That's so weird. But is there someone nice in particular reference. you would know about? Boland? Tell me of Voland the Smith. Voland Arkvidsson is a good man, and the weaponsmith for Von Sigtuna. He lives in the east part of town with his wife and son. What do you know about Hervor? Their herbore runs the guild house and takes care of all the eager young would-be adventurers we get here. She is not from Fonsictuna. Volan the blacksmith brought her here when they married. Do not be fooled huh. by that frail figure of hers. I've seen her break a man's arm before. My kind of girl? I like her. Surely hey. you have met Jaime. He's so cute. Little Jaime is the child of Voland and Herbor. He wants to be a mighty warrior someday. He's so cute. Just like... Well, me. I've given him a practice sword, and he works out with it daily. That's so cute. He even wanders around at night looking for things to guard. Oh, he's so adorable. Let us speak of the woodlands. If you wish to hear about Yarnvidir, you've come to the right person. As captain of the guard, I hear all the soldiers' tales. Good. Trolls. Are the trolls dangerous? Duh. Frankly, yes, to all but the most experienced warriors. 
Their most powerful blow is easy to dodge, because you can see it coming from a mile away. But whenever they block something, they tend to be quick to make a counterattack that you should be ready for. Since their wounds have a tendency to close while they're fighting, your best bet is a heavy weapon that makes big gashes, like a battle axe. Okay, that is good to know, actually. Let us speak later. You should stay here with us. Pretending to be a hero is just going hey. to get you killed. I am a hero, thank you very much. <laughs> the nerve of some people. Of course, he is a captain of the guard, and I think he's related to the Jarl. So, yeah. Oh, hey, look, the whole family's here. That's adorable. Welcome to my smithy, traveler. It is good. Yep. These are so I already did Tell all this last time. I live. So I'm just gonna quickly go through what this. Ooh. Let us speak about Snorri. Snorri is my brother in arms. We have proudly fought many battles together. Your eyebrows. He speaks like a bard, but do not let that fool you. He is a proven warrior thrice over, and a match for my brother Agalaz with the bow. Oh, you have a brother. I didn't know that. Okay. Blade always be keen. Thank you. Bye. What is that? I don't know. Let's find out. What is that thing? That gemstone is none of your business. Yes, sir. Sure. Sure. These are commissioned by the troops of Jarl Ilfing and are not for sale. Okay. Okay, I think I might just, uh, go then. Bye, guys. See you later. So, note self, do not ask about the gemstone. He is touchy about the gemstone. I wonder if that's his gemstone. Mm. Mm. Maybe I should talk to the guard, dude. No, no, no. Speak, talk to. How can I help you? Please, tell, Please me. tell me about yourself. I am a soldier of Fon Sigtuna in the fields of Jarl Ilfing. You have no name? What is Fon Sigtuna like? Fon Sigtuna is the capital of this region and a powerful trade city between the forest and the vast seas. The walls were put up by Odin Greybeard himself and really? stand strong against all the wolves and trolls in the region. So, Odin is in the god Odin actually built the walls of the city? What can really? I find in Yarnvidir? Really? If it is tall tales you want, I suggest you visit the Slightly Arena around sunset. Okay. Uh, Thank thanks. you for your time. You're well, welcome. Oh! A polite guard! That's nice. And no, no one stole my sweet roll. Except for trolls. Stupid trolls. Endurance! I got endurance! For walking. Well, hey, I guess there are worse things to get endurance for, you know? What are you? House is closed by an old door of tattered wood that appears like it could fall apart at any moment. Hmm. Just so. Can I go inside? Am I gonna get in trouble for that? That is a creepy snowman that I didn't notice before. Although the door looks flimsy, you find yourself entirely unable to budget. Okay. Good to know. Cute snowman lightens up this otherwise drab and quiet corner of Fort Sigtuna. I don't know. I kind of think it looks creepy myself. Cart stands out in the street. It's probably con it probably contains supplies that have been unloaded, but now it's seeming it's empty and collecting snow. I'm gonna walk away from the creepy snowman before it comes to life and tries to strangle me or something. You know, because it, it could happen, okay? <gasps> Birdie! Or chicken? Are you a chicken? I don't know. Looks like one of the busier areas of Born Sigtuna. The road looks well-traveled and the houses appear lively and cozy. But that's not what I was, I was trying to click on the bird. The store has seen better days, but it's still tough enough. To keep the wind and trespassers out. Oh, <gasps> doggy! Talk to the doggy! The dog looks at you with a friendly gaze but doesn't otherwise respond. Oh my gosh, you are just the cutest little thing ever. Can I have you? 
Can I keep you? Please? Please? I have doggies. Are you following me? You're following me, aren't you? Were you checking out my ass? You probably were. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm watching you, dude. I guess you're going to the inn. <sighs> Should I go in too, I guess? It hasn't told me that I'm allowed to go to sleep yet, so I guess so. <laughs> Alrighty. There are a grand total of two people in here, one of which I've already spoken to. Okay. Let's go talk to her. Welcome, traveler. We may be in an endless winter with our food supplies running out, but I can still serve you a drink if you like. You're Lithrasir! You're the one who killed the... the stuff! She's another girl adventurer! That is so awesome. Please tell me about yourself. My name is Lithrasir. I run the Slape Near Inn, meaning I keep the people in town here happy in the face of Ragnarok through judicious application of alcohol. I like you. Slapenir is the eight-legged steed of Odin the Single-Eyed. Loki, forger of evil, had hired a mighty frost giant to forger construct a keep for evil. him. But the Jotun would only be paid if the task was done within three seasons. So, to ensure the Jotun's work would run late, Loki the Sly turned himself into a mare to distract the Jotun's horse from helping him. Oh, here we go the for the creepy thing. The plan worked, and the Jotun left without payment. But, as a result, Loki the Giant's thief gave birth to the horse Sleipnir. That's just creepy. That's one of the uh, parts of the Norse mythology that I'm just a little creeped out by. You know, also how Fenrir came into existence, you know, seeing as he's a wolf. But hey, it's, uh, it's mythology. That's what happens. What can you tell me about the city? Lots of things, if you want to hear them. Being a barkeep means you hear all the tales. Some people get very talkative in my inn, if they do not pass out from a drink too many. <laughs> uh, Snorri's right here. I'm not talking about him in front of him. Tell me of Boland the smith. The local smith frequently comes to the slave near inn. For a drink and some gambling. He gambles, huh? A good enough fellow, if a bit quiet for my taste. Hervor is really happy with him. That's so cool. Uh... What do you know about Hervor? Hervor is my closest friend here in Fornsigtuna, and she runs the Adventurer's Guild. I promise you, the two of us would never gossip about you. Uh, I, I bet the two of you shed all the good gossip when we are out of earshot. He's probably right. Wouldn't you like to know Snorri, dear? Yes. Yes, I think you would. Surely you have met Jaime. Of course I have. He is the light of the town, with his enthusiasm and his wooden sword. I bet he would charge straight at a dragon, if we had any. That's so cute. He's adorable. I, just, I can't not love that little kid. I don't think we should talk about him while he's here. So, uh, I don't what know. What do you know of Munarvagir? What? Oh, the people from Munarvagir are nice enough. At least one of them is. Uh, I don't even know what that was. So, I essentially got no information out of that. Did you need a letter delivered? Yes, I do. There are not many people traversing the forest in the Thimble Winter, and some of us have gotten it into our heads that Munavagir is somehow our enemy. So, I would like you to find your way through all the evil snow, talk to the oh-so-scary humans in Munavagir, <laughs> and give this letter to the resident healer. Glyph is his name. This is hilarious. Okay. Sure. I don't know where this place is, but I'll do it anyhow. What can you tell me of the forest? I have traveled through the woods a few times, but I'm not an expert. I find the whole team in Avigir very beautiful. Uh huh. Lithrasir has us go to the forest for her, so she can save us a good mead for when we get back. Cheers to that. 
You like her, don't you? I think you might have a thing for the barkeep. Do you have a thing for the barkeep? Hmm? I would like to buy some of your wares. Oh, believe me, we all do. Try the meat, it is very good. <laughs> if you want to buy Snorri, please go ahead and take him out of my tavern. Wait, these for yes, sale? Mithrasir, I have missed you too. What? This is hilarious. Do you have rations for sale? So sorry, but we do not have enough food left in Forn Sigtuna to sell it. Perhaps That's what I thought. you should go out and hunt. Okay. Uh, I help? wish you good health. Be careful out there. Yonvadir is dangerous, and the winter is cold. Duh. It's, it's winter. You two, uh... Why don't you enjoy yourselves? I'm just gonna leave you two alone for a while. And, uh... Enjoy! Yeah, I, I totally think they have a thing for each other. Only I think it's kind of one-sided. On his part. But you know... <laughs> Uh, whatever. They're kind of cute. He's a little annoying, but he's kind of- he's funny at the same time, so I guess I don't dislike him too much. I'm gonna go back and sleep, and then I think that would be- well, fine. I'll go down this street, and then we'll go back and sleep. Where does this go? Oh, hey, look. We're, we're back here. Can I, like, go back where I was? Because I'm pretty sure it's nighttime, so I don't think I should go try and talk to the Jarl at the middle of the night. What the? Hello? He hello? Can I, can I talk to you, Birdie? Last, nobody follows your tweet. You knew you should have taken that course on bird language back in heroing school. Thanks for making fun of me, game. Too cute. Okay, fine. Be like that. Don't, you know, talk to me like, you know, a mythical bird might. I feel so alone. Nobody loves me. <sighs> okay, I think I'm just gonna stop it here. And when we next show up. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and sleep. I'm kind of scared that I might like make something happen if I sleep now, so we'll do that at the start of the next video. Um, anyway, this entire video was me not dying and wandering around town. Good times! Met some uh, interesting people. It's kind of quiet for the uh, largest city in this area, but hey. Yeah, that, that's- they're all hiding inside from the cold. Can't really blame them. Um, anyway. I'm still having some good fun, and I really like Lithrasir. She's snarky, and she's just my kind of girl. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, the link for the download is in the description, and I will see you all next time. I'm Violeta, this is Last Level Press. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go out and game, you guys. Bye!